How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the Lone Trails YouTube channel. Today guys, I got a bit of a different video for you because uh, this channel is usually about riding dirt bikes and four wheelers, but let me set my box down. Uh, we got something different for you. I kind of went a few months ago and I haven't really showed this thing much at all, but I went and I bought another little project and the reason I really bought it was because it was insanely cheap and it really, really caught my eye. But let's go ahead and pull all this off and I'll talk a little more about it. Pull that off here. I got two tarps on it because there's a lot of exposed uh, sort of inner parts or just spots where water can get in. All right, here's that big, here's the big reveal. And here she is in all her glory. I found a blue ATC 110. So this is pretty, I've heard these things are actually decently rare. And I know it's not a whole lot right now, but it's something and it was insanely cheap. A little backstory on this. So there's a junkyard that I go to that's literally right beside where I work. Um, and so I went uh, to the junkyard because I like looking around because they usually have like four wheelers and stuff like that. And I like to look and see what I can find. Well, this one day I went, this one caught my eye because I've seen plenty of uh, Honda ATC three wheelers there. A lot of 110s and a couple 125s, even a 185, even a couple big reds. But I've seen this. I've never seen a blue three wheeler. I thought at first maybe this was just painted, but got to looking at it and it's actually original blue all around. Um, and right there, it still has that plainly stamped on there. It's a 1984 ATC 110. And it kind of caught my eye, like I said, because I'd never seen a blue one. I didn't even think they made a blue one. But I did a little research, and turns out they made these for two years, in 1983 and 1984. And the motor still had compression. Like, you can turn over where... This is where the uh, pull starts at. You can uh, turn that over, and you can still hear the piston try to, like... You know, that downward motion of it, like, trying to suck air and stuff. So it's got a little bit of compression in it. So uh, I don't really know. I don't really know just a ton about these. Another pretty simple the ATC 110. I'm pretty sure was actually the first three wheeler to ever come out, or at least Honda wise. I think I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but I know they were one of the first at least. But I got to looking. Uh, it's not a whole lot, but I was just like, well, we'll see how much they wanted for it. And they was at first gonna say like I was expecting them to say like a hundred and fifty dollars or a maybe a hundred dollars. Uh, and then I was probably going to leave it if it was any more than like a hundred bucks. But uh, I ended up snagging this thing for $50 after they weighed it. So I was like, all right, well, $50 for a little three-wheeler that definitely has potential. Um, I can't pass that up. So uh, looking over this thing, still got the original forks, the original bars and everything. Uh, unfortunately, the light up here is busted. The plastics are busted. That's going to have to come at a later time because these plastics are insanely expensive. I've only seen one set on eBay and they were $500. Um, we need intake manifolds um, and the header. Or not the header. It's actually got the header and all that down here. But, uh, you know, we need the... Let's see. Well, let me just pull these plastics off. Uh, unfortunately, on the underside of here, uh you see that metal it's really really rusted so that's really bad that seat and all is pretty much gone uh we got the air box right here um i don't think i remember it having a i don't think i remember it having an air filter and i'm not 100 percent sure let me open this up all right okay well there's a look inside the air filter i thought this didn't have an air filter in it at all but apparently it does it's got the uh Pretty sure that's the original one, or maybe not the original actual filter, but the original, uh, you know, I guess cage you could call it. Uh, it's eat up, and look at this. So whenever I mash, mash my thumb down on it, it just gives away. So yeah, uh, that's done for. But we'll get a new air filter and all that. Not really a priority for it right now. Um, one of the things I was scared about with this thing was that there was gonna be like water in the motor because these, you know, they don't care about these things. They just let them set out in the, you know, set out in the, um, uh in the weather and all that because you know they're people sell them for scrap but uh yeah i saved this one from being scrapped uh it, it actually did not have a a dipstick in it which was kind of nerve-wracking but uh i got one off one of the other parts quasin the oil actually looks decent on there i'm thinking i may have actually managed to snag it on the morning that someone brought it in there uh i'm thinking maybe this was sitting in a barn or somewhere i don't know 
but I, I don't really know that for sure i don't really know where this thing was prior to being in the junkyard but uh, what i did is the oil looked good so i'm really hoping this thing sets sort of indoors or under a shed or something and i think i may have caught it on the morning that they actually took it to have it scrapped we'll go ahead and set the air box and everything back on there uh this video i really just want to start putting some stuff on this on this because i paid 50 dollars for all this but over here in this box we have a ton of parts i got for this thing um i didn't get this to make money on i got this to keep because i've never had a three-wheeler and plus they're pretty simple so i hear uh we do have a pull start here but unfortunately this is the wrong one uh there's a dealership or a or a pull apart rather in uh boonville mississippi that i got this from and i got in contact with a guy and he said he'll trade me uh the, the correct one that i need so i'm gonna go ahead and set this over here set that there Here's some of the other parts we got. We got a carb set up. I'm not really sure what kind of carb. This is a K-E-I-K-H-I-N-K. -E -I'm assuming it's a Chinese carb, but if it, I mean, as long as it works. We got the gasket that's gonna go on the pull start. And then we have right here, ignition coil. We also have the uh, manifold going for, to the motor from the carb, or from the carb to the motor right there. We have this right here. I'm pretty sure it goes on the side of the carburetor. Not 100% sure. Uh, we have the intake boot. And then we have the uh, thumb throttle right here. And we also have a throttle cable in there. So uh, we can route all that up. Uh, so yeah, we got a pretty fair amount of parts. This is a little bit rusty. But it does the job. So uh, we're going to go ahead and mount all this, some of this stuff up. And yeah. Alright guys, so I got the camera mounted up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. I don't know if I'm gonna mount the car. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how mounting the carb goes um, I got a lot of these parts off of eBay. Some of these I actually got from that Boonville uh, Pull apart The one that I was talking about earlier, but um, yeah uh, These things it's crazy just how simple these are. I'll, I'll show you guys the inside of that But you guys can see the little mechanism just your two just uh Got the little spring wrapped around there you see it's got this little spring in there just very very simple uh and then there's a bolt there uh that you can adjust to you know see how much throttle you give it so you could actually give this thing down if a kid was to ride it which is actually kind of cool pure 1980s technology oh got it on backwards but oh yeah and then you can see the uh where your throttle cable would go down in there and then it gets pulled out there so yeah very 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 simple but uh i mean it's effective it works so that's really all you need i'm glad that these are the original bars i was kind of afraid that or I'm, well, i wasn't, wasn't really thinking but um i'm glad these are the original bars on it uh it's just another perk i like stuff the, you know the more original the better uh it sucks this doesn't have more original parts on it but that's okay uh it's not that big of a deal all right, so we're going to go ahead and put these screws in. I know I'm going to have to pull this back off to get the carb and stuff, or to get the uh, throttle cable on there. But uh, I'll just worry about that when the time comes. I'm not really going to worry about it at the moment. I just want to kind of get this mounted up and out of the way. I'm not really going to snug these on. We'll just put them on there just to hold it. Some of these parts are actually pretty expensive. Others really aren't that much. You wouldn't think they'd be too much, but I know pull starts are... One of the most common things that people take off of these. Alright, so that looks fine right there. Um, Next in the box. We have the, um, the intake boot here. I'm going to have to figure out really how to put this on. This is made out of a very stiff rubber. I didn't think it was going to be made out of this stiff rubber. Or rubber but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes on. Um... I will go ahead and we'll put this on. It comes with one of the bolts, but I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this onto the, the head of the motor because I got a paper towel stuck on it right now and I do not want water, or you know, just to increase the risk, the possibility of water uh, getting in it. All right, I think, yeah, this right here is the end that goes in. I don't really know if I have a bolt to fix this though, or to put in there. I got a bolt here that, that might work. This actually isn't even a bolt. This is just a, yeah, we'll have to find a bolt to go on that, but 
should just pop on just like that. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll go look in the shed real quick and see what I have. Well, this isn't exactly the right bolt to go in it, but uh, if, if we can screw this down just to hold it on there, uh, it should be okay. Just for now, we'll get the right bolts. And I think you can go on eBay and actually buy the entire like kit that's got all the bolts you need for it. But yeah, you can go on eBay and you can buy all the bolts that you need for it. It's like a whole kit, if I ain't mistaken. So I might do that. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to screw this carburetor on. I got a bolt here that should work. It's too long. Um, like I was talking about, how you can get those bolt or those kits on eBay that will. That's actually, it's kind of like a replacement set or set. I'm going to screw this on just because I'm going to see how all this is going to go on. Um, I'll get new bolts and all that for this, but I just want to kind of put everything together right now and uh, we'll get to working on it. Okay, there's our, uh, I think I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Okay, our fuel screws up there. Uh, this carburetor is probably going to have to be cleaned, honestly, before we really try to go at it. I haven't taken anything off of this carb, even though I've had these parts for a few months now. But I really wanted to um, uh, wait because I wanted to, you know, film it. All right, guys. So I'm going to see what we kind of got going here because I don't know. This doesn't exactly line up as it should. Maybe there's some. Maybe if we heated this thing up a little bit. But I don't want to like risk destroying this or nothing. I need to clean this out, honestly. We'll see. Can I even? Yeah, I had actually issues with this trying to get this on, but I might actually have to take the heat gun to this or even maybe take a lighter and go around it. I think it actually went on the air box last time I tried though. I want to break the air box the good news is though uh that junkyard that's near my house has plenty of these air boxes but has plenty of uh old three-wheelers with these air boxes on it so uh, yeah i think i'm gonna have to heat this up a little bit i'm gonna see if i can find a lighter or something or the heat gun and uh heat this up just a little bit and uh we'll see if i can get it on there all right guys so i took the heat gun to this we'll see if i can yeah that works there we go so that actually really softened up all this that's what i was thinking so that really softened up all this rubber here perfect so i actually got some hose clamps in the shed and we'll put those on uh well and the next thing that concerns me oh there we go okay never mind uh, i'm not gonna use the heat gun on this if we need to i think i might put that slide on there a little far or something uh well, we got this part on there, but the only thing is when we put the clamp on there, it's going to be up too high. Maybe we can do some fab work here. Because this carb is actually going to set in just a little farther. Actually, let me go get a hose clamp to go ahead and put on this right here. All right, guys, so we got this uh, hose clamp set that I bought from Tractor Supply a few months ago. I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know exactly here. What might work? That probably would work. Just want to put a giant one on there, you know. We'll go ahead and put that on there, and then might be better to honestly put it on the carb first. But we'll we'll look into all that here pretty soon. Ah, uh, right. So figure out the angle that we got it on there. Probably right there. Uh, if you guys know any recommendations or anything that I should do for it, post down in the comments. I read through all the comments, try to reply to them all. And plus, I'm literally just, I'm trying to learn how to do all this stuff. I'm just trying to teach myself. I've been watching videos and all that. Just trying to learn and how these things work and just, uh, just other stuff. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty tight right there. The carb though. Uh, I wonder if there's anything I'll be able to do for that. Yeah, we're gonna have, to have another bolt on the other side here. I might have to do a little more research into how these go on, because uh, look, let me show you guys. 
uh, there's just a little gap right here. It's like just out of reach. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to look into all that as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount the throttle cable up there. So we'll get that good and uh, adjusted. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm not exactly sure how this carburetor is supposed to be, like, or how that uh, throttle cable is supposed to be routed, uh, like up in here. Not 100% sure how it's supposed to be routed. I don't know if there's like a, uh, or, if, you know, because I ain't got a gas tank, so I can't really, I guess, kind of experiment. But we'll go ahead and we'll mount it up and uh, some of that. i get it uh, going. Uh, maybe I can, and now, now that it's summer, I might have a stand a better chance of getting this thing started because I bought this thing during the winter months. So I'm going to show you. Oops, I'll get that. Uh, you guys can see here. What it does is it kind of goes in this little hole here let me set my stuff down so show you guys here so this comes back like that it's like that and then it's gonna pop up in there and then it's gonna go in this little hole there and then there's a little slide there we go see, see how it's, there we go so now when you get throttle you can see there uh and then this little rubber piece, I'm assuming, is going to go right on the metal here. Kind of working as like a little seal or something. There we go. Okay, so that seems more correct. So there's that. I don't know if there's supposed to be an extra piece here. Um, tell me down in the comments if you guys know. Like, like I said, uh, leave down in the comments any kind of information about these things you guys may know. Uh, like I said, I bought this thing to fix and keep. I don't really plan on selling this thing at all. And... Personally, I don't really care how much money it puts me through neither because I just, um, I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm liking doing this even though I haven't really fooled with it just yet. I hope the motor's still good. Uh, if the motor isn't much good, then I'll have a buddy of mine. We'll go into it, and of course, I'll film all that. I'm trying to get better to film my stuff. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm actually all out of time on my camera, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little just kind of mini build. Um, I don't exactly have... Uh, a lot of time on my camera right now that's why i'm trying to speed up this outro a little bit and uh i just didn't really have a lot to do to the machine today but let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this thing uh should i have left it at the junkyard or should i have brought it home so yeah leave down in the comments uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in part two